Okay, this is Monday, the 12th of October. I'm recording this about 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And it uh, could be a uh, pretty light day in the currency market um, due to several bank holidays. And this is Columbus Day in the U.S. And even though the U.S. stock market is open, I'm expecting to have lighter volume there and in the currency market as well. That said, uh, we can look over here at our uh, heat map here. Our weekly trends, daily trends, four-hour trends are very strong. The New Zealand dollar continue to be. And uh, three-day trends are kind of mixed in that area, but our intraday trends are pretty strong for the most part. So I'm going to look at, uh, I mentioned the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar, uh, I think on Friday. So I'm going to look at that one and also look at the uh, Swiss franc here. So we'll flip over to our uh, Ichimoku charts here. And you can see how on the uh, daily chart of the New Zealand dollar versus the Canadian dollar that we have moved above this area of the uh, Kumo here. I mentioned in other videos how the uh, flat line of the Kumo can invite price through that area and this would be an example of how that occurred. On our four hour map we have the four hour Kumo moving now above the 16 hour Kumo which is this kind of teal colored area in here. And on the uh, four hour Coppet curve you can see can make it out there. Bring that in a little bit so that you can see it better there on the video. But uh, as you can see, we're still above the zero line, which is the critical line. Um, and we're actually getting ready, it looks like, to have another cross up. You can see where this happened back in here, where we have what I call a mid air cross up, which is where Coppet Curve does not go back below the line before it makes a crossover. So that happened in here. And you can see the kind of big move we had, uh, you know. 200 pip move that we had after that. Not saying we're going to get 200 pips out of this again, but it looks very, very close to a cross up here. Um, so that's one pair I'm watching. Uh, ideally, a retracement back to this 8677 area, uh, but no guarantee that it will do that. Also, the New Zealand dollar versus the Swiss franc, kind of a similar pattern. You can see where price moved through the daily, this thin area of the daily Kumo on this particular chart on the daily chart. Uh, daily Coppet curve above the zero line just as it is with the New Zealand dollar versus the Canadian, do Canadian dollar. Uh, more bullish uh, cross up here on the 4 hour Kumo versus the 16 hour Kumo. And uh, looking at this area, 64, 44, that area for a possible entry. You can see where we already have a cross up here on the 4 hour Coppet curve and that that is also above the line. So another example of a what I'm calling a mid-air cross up here. You can see where that happened in here and you can see where price moved up from that point here. Happened over here as well and that's when we moved up from this point. So we kind of moved up, consolidated, moved up, consolidated and now it looked like we were possibly getting ready to make another move higher. So uh, those are the two bears I'm watching this morning and uh, looking for a good entry uh, to take those both of those pairs long.